about the look what I make today. Fruity jelly bones, very easy to make and very healthy. I think we all love them. So I made them today with different flowers and also different colors and look how gorgeous they are. Very, very easy to make. Let's go and see what we need to make them. Everybody, not only children, love the jelly bones. Well, we're gonna make it at home the healthy one, and it's so easy to make, and they are so gorgeous and cute. These are what we need. Here, uh, remember, everything is equal. So, I have three tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of jelly, any flavor you like, and here I have three tablespoons of starch, should be with starch. I have like one or two tablespoons of oil, depends on how much I need it. I have one glass of water. I am using some food coloring in case we need some more color. I don't know this jelly got, how is it light if we want to make it darker. So we're going to add some more food coloring and we need a mold. Look, I am using this ice mold because I want to make them like a ball. So you can use any shapes of the mold to make your jelly bone with them. So it's so easy to make. Let's go and see how I'm gonna make it. First of all, before putting the, um, this material on the stove, I'm gonna mix it together. I have three tablespoons of starch. That's a Vita starch. Three tablespoons of jelly. I am using kiwi jelly. I like it to be sour. I have three tablespoons of sugar. If you prefer to be much more sweet, then you can use more sugar inside it. I'm gonna add it and mix it with the water. One glass of water. First of all, I'm gonna mix them very well. Then I'm gonna put it on the stove. Well, to decorate it, I'm using some coconut powder, but you can use the starch actually to roll this gel bones inside it, or you can use sugar, but I prefer this coconut, which is so tasty and also it looks so cute. Now we put it on the stove, we're gonna stir it quickly until uh, it gets a kind of a jelly form and get com completely separated from the pot. So I will show you how it is. For the color, I, I should wait until uh, until I get the color you know clear right now it's not that much clear so I'm not sure if the color is what exactly I need if I if I need more darker actually if I need it to be much more darker I'm, I'm gonna add more food coloring inside it first of all I'm gonna stir it and at the end of the stage I'm gonna add one to two tablespoons of oil that's a vegetable oil <laughs> Well, look at the consistency. Now is the time that I add my oil. So I'm gonna add like one tablespoon of oil first. Oh yeah, I think it's enough. Look at it. It's not so shiny and that is what I really needed. Um, this is the color. This is good actually. I don't want it to be darker. So I keep stirring and look at it now as you see it is separating from the pot look you see it's like you have to do this stirring like 15 20 minutes but keep it stirring and then this is ready and we're gonna put it in the mold I'll show you as I said, you can use starch or like me, coconut. I just put some coconut powder inside of this mold. You can use actually starch or sugar, as I said. Just not too much, just a little. And now I'm gonna pour this material inside of this mold.
I pour them in the mold. Now I'm gonna put it in the freezer for four or five minutes maximum. Or you can put it or leave it in the refrigerator for like 10 minutes and then it's gonna be ready. I'm gonna come back and roll it in the coconut. I left it in the freezer just for five minutes and now it's ready. Let's open it up. Oh, how cute they are. So. Well, look at them, they are so cute. You can make it in different colors with different flavors and they are so healthy actually. I think this is gonna be very, I think, ideal gel bomb for your children as well or maybe for your gatherings. I'm gonna make it with different colors of the jellies with different flowers and I'll be back. Well, I have prepared them with different colors and the flavors. I made it with the orange, lemon, blueberry, strawberry, and you saw I made it with also kiwi. Look at them, how gorgeous they are, and it was so easy to make. Well, I hope you like this recipe because it was so easy, very healthy, and of course, very tasty. If you like my program, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Encourage me for more videos like this. Until my next video, see you later. Mm -hmm.